love this look so freaking much like I'm obsessed I think it's just so pretty it's just such a look like I'm just saying like imagine I'm going on a date you know he picking me up and then I just come outside and I'm like hey <laughs> I'm delusional I'm sorry <laughs> What's poppin' y'all? It's your girl Team Stacy, and I'm back with another YouTube video. And if you're new to my channel, hello. And if you're a subscriber, what's up? <laughs> y'all, I be saying my intro so fast. I just saw a bad little John. Exercising, baby, this a peel run. Cougar bitch, fuck her, make her feel young. Got a nigga fuck. But as you guys can see, girl, we are giving soft matte fall red lips. Okay? I mean, there's not much I can say about this tutorial. It's so fire. You are going to look so good by the end of this video. Like, I promise you. Just follow my steps. I got you. Um, Give me your hand. Let's go. I got you. So, I'm just super excited to get started with this video. I don't even want to talk too much. I want to start this video. So, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So, I did wash my face off camera, so my face is super dry, but I'm going to go ahead and bring the moisture back. If you're OG to my channel, you know I love my Milk Makeups moisturizer. So I'm going to go ahead in with this, and we are going to moisturize my skin. Alright y'all, so after I get that all of my skin, we're going to go ahead and move on to my primer. If you guys haven't watched the video, go ahead and watch it. It will be linked up here and down below in the description box. But I showed you guys my, my secret potion. I put you guys on to this secret potion of making my makeup last all day. I literally wore that makeup for 13 hours in that video. So if you guys want to check that out, I will link it down below. But I'm going to go ahead and with that secret potion. And I just take like a cheap, um, you know, makeup wedge to apply it. Y'all know I don't go in with too much. You don't need a lot. So if you have oily skin, um, definitely check out that video. But you want to go in, um, if you have like an oily area, you could apply this product just to that specific area. But um, if you just want like a matte look in its entirety, I like to go in kind of like everywhere um, to get that matte look. Um, also, if you're using the secret product, definitely blend it out don't just throw it on your face and let it kind of look like how you guys know how milk of magnesia is like super white don't let that get like that this is not milk of magnesia you know what i'm saying so just make sure it's blended out and i just started doing this but i like to put it over my brows i just feel like it just makes your makeup last longer so putting it on my brows helps with uh, my brows lightening up throughout the day As you guys see, my face looks super dry, so that's good. Let's go ahead and move on. If you guys know, I've been changing my routine. I'm not going to tell you guys because you know what? My family, my team, they know, okay? And if you're not part of the family, that's okay. You might be new, but join the family so, like, you guys just know what I'm talking about. Doesn't it feel good when you watch your favorite YouTuber and you just know, like, when they be like, yeah, last week when Ron said this and you know what Ron said because you watched that video when he said it. So, anyway, I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place foundation um, and this is in 440 Savannah I love this foundation I can't find my bigger foundation brush so I'm going with my eyebrow brush y'all don't mind my lip I busted my lips so. um and then I like to go in with a foundation br brush to blend this out I just like a brush way better than I like um, sponges so I'm gonna go ahead and take my e.l.f. camo concealer and this is in fair warm and I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this all in my t-zone I really do want like a highlighted look so we're gonna go ahead and do that and I'm just going to this concealer is very very full coverage so I don't do too much like you're, I don't want to do like a humongous triangle and stuff like that this concealer is a 
a little goes a long way, which this is really a lot. I still want it to be like full coverage, if that makes sense. So we're just gonna put the concealer in the places we want to highlight. And I like to connect, when I do it under my mouth, I like to kind of connect it to um, my eye. Alright guys, so after I go ahead and do my brows, I'm going to go ahead and carve it out. So with this extremely light concealer, I'm going to put it at the, the back end of my brows on the bottom. And then I'm going to go in with a concealer closer to my skin tone, which is called Tan Walnut. I'll mix the two colors a little bit, but I'm going to go in with Tan Walnut for the remaining of my brows. So you guys will see that. So now that the eyebrows are done, we're gonna go ahead and blend the face. So we're still gonna do the under eye blast. We're just gonna blend other parts first, just so we can get that full, full coverage. It's definitely dried down because it's a little tough to blend out, but we're trying to get this very highlighted look and full coverage, so. When I'm blending my under eye, I like to go back in with my foundation brush and blend out the, oops, sorry y'all, excuse me. I like to blend out the edges first and then I'll go ahead in the more closer part to my eye and um, blend that out with a concealer brush. But this just helps diffuse the edges of the concealer and I feel like it just makes it blend a little bit better. So yeah. Okay guys, so I did go ahead and finish blending the face. Um, so this is what it looks like with everything blended out. You wanna make sure that you are blending, girl. So especially if you use as much concealer as me, it's very important that you blend it. You don't wanna look cakey. Before we start creasing, I'm gonna go ahead with my Laura Mercier setting powder. Ooh, I do not wanna get setting powder on my shirt. So. So yeah, I'm gonna take the setting powder and I'm just gonna set my um, majority of my face with that. I'm also gonna brush a little bit of powder on my eyebrows. Um, just so my eyebrows last. Um, I don't wanna set my under eye cause I want my under eye to remain light. So we're just gonna set the other parts of my face. And I like to set my smile lines because I smile a lot and girl when I say that kills me when my makeup is like creasing right there it gets on my nerves and then I'm gonna just dab my brush into the powder and I'm gonna tap it away and I'm just gonna lightly sweep this on the under my cheekbones kind of just so like my whole face is set you know so we're getting that mattified look. And then I'm leaving places open because I'm still gonna go in with some um, contour and stuff. So that's why I'm not just like putting this powder all over my face. Um, the less powder, you know, the better, so. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe. This is the 35OM. This is a, like an old ass palette. I just don't have my contour color anymore, so I'm gonna go in with that. And I'm going to take what color? Did I, I'm gonna take this color right here um, to contour my face. So contour, 
and I'm gonna lightly bring it down. So I like to um, concentrate it up here and then I'll blend it down so it's not too harsh. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna bring some warmth back into the face. All right, and next up, I'm gonna go ahead and take a smaller um, fluffy brush and we're gonna go in with that same color. And we're just going to put that on the side of our nose for contour. Before we blend out our nose contour, that same color we use for the nose contour and for our face, we're just gonna take it, take it and sweep it into our eyelid. And that's the only color that's going there. We don't wanna put too much work into the eyes because um, we really want this to be a classic natural look. We don't want it to be you know, too much. And me personally, I feel like you can easily go a little too crazy um, with your makeup if you're doing a red lip. So you really want to be mindful of that and, you know, just keep everything clean and simple. So I don't want things to get too crazy, so I am going to do a liquid liner. I'm using my Wet uh, Wet and Wild Mega Liner in black, and I'm just going to do a very, very thin small wing liner, so you'll see. I'm gonna take my mascara and I'm going to just apply some mascara to my lashes. This is just prepping my lashes for my false lashes today. So we're just gonna put some mascara. And then I'm also gonna put some on my bottom lashes, just a little bit, um, because I will be going in with some false bottom lashes. All right guys, uh, excuse me. So I did go ahead and apply my lashes off camera. Um, so I am gonna go ahead and put on some bottom lashes these are the Ardell lashes they are um, some short Ardell individual lashes and I like to put them for my bottom lashes just to add a little bit of mm, mm, mm. I put about three to four so when I tell y'all I'm in a rush right now I'm supposed to be picking up my brother at <laughs> from school and girl I'm doing a makeup video girl I'm sorry bro but my girls need makeup tutorials, so he gonna have to wait. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply these lashes. If you guys want a tutorial, I can give that to you, but um, they're very simplistic, so. So we have the bottom lashes on, period, girl. We give it right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. This is the LA Girl Pro Setting Spray, and this is the, the this is a matte finish one because we're going for a matte look. So we're just gonna set. I can't find my blush palette, so we're gonna use eyeshadow today, girl. We just gonna use what we got. Um, I'm gonna go in with red, but very, very lightly because we have red lipstick. So you don't want it to be too um you know crazy with the color so we're just gonna lightly put some blush on today um nothing too crazy so i'm just gonna put the blush on i literally dabbed my brush into red like the slightest bit and now i'm just putting that just to add a little bit of color to my face um because most of the color is going to draw attention to um the lips so yeah, we're just gonna. So I don't have a like a red liner right now, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and use eyeshadow too. Um, this this video is really just showing you gonna use what you got, girl. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. While um, before we put on the red, the final red lipstick, I'm just gonna highlight. And I'm taking my Fenty Beauty highlighter, and we're gonna use the color Mo Honey. 
um, we're just gonna highlight our nose and under our brow because we want this look to be very very matte so we're not gonna do the the usual highlight that you know I love to do sadly we gotta we gotta we gotta put it up sometimes we gotta we have something else in mind so we're just gonna highlight under the brow you could definitely highlight the other points of your face but personally I just really want to stick to a matte um, soft matte lip. All right, so we're gonna go ahead with our Keep It On A Hush red lipstick. I was super excited to use this color. Can y'all get into it before we get into it? Look at this, guys. Hold on, let's let it focus. Okay, it's the packaging for me. I feel so expensive when I pull this out. I literally love it. So excited to use this for you guys. I will link it down below. This color is called Gigi, if I'm not mistaken, but it will be linked down below. So, for all the haters in a bag, make sure you keep it on a uh, make sure you keep it on the hush okay so let me go because I need to hurry up this red lip hold on this red lip is literally stealing the show like I feel like this look wouldn't even been all that without this red lip I'm obsessed you guys hold on okay yeah I'm gonna be right back let me go pick my little brother up now we're gonna close this video Alrighty, my love so it is officially the end of the video and this is the final look I had to go ahead and straighten my hair off camera but baby it's giving what I said I was going to give. And that's on period. I love this look so freaking much. Like, I'm obsessed. I think it's just so pretty. It's just such a look. Like, I'm just saying, like, imagine I'm going on a date. You know, he picking me up. And then I just come outside. I'm like, hey. <laughs> I'm delusional. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm delusional. I'm a little sorry, but... Yes, you guys, I'm so obsessed with this look. I think I look so pretty right now. I'm feeling myself. So, yes, if you are feeling this look, make sure you guys, you know, do the tutorial. Comment down below. I want you guys to comment down below a red heart. Let me know you guys made it at the end of this tutorial today. I love you guys so freaking much. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. So, yeah, bye, guys.